Okay. We're back here at the uh, snow at the snowling place. But we're not gonna keep robbing this guy. We're gonna look around and try to find some other stuff before we end off the stream tonight. I got about two more hours. So um let's see what else we can find. Okay, so that's that's how you make free money basically. That's three hundred rupees a pop for a strike and it's not even hard to get. No, nah, that that's that's free. That's super free. So if whenever after I beat this game and I like sell all my belongings basically in order to uh, see how much money I have at the end of it all. If I'm stuck close to 9,999 rupees, then I'll just come here and farm that because that's so free. So very free. Like, dude, like, there's not even enough in, in the game to buy <laughs> that requires that being an exploit. <laughs> it's a crazy big exploit. Alright. So this is around the tower. Daruk's protection is now ready to roll. Alright, Daruk, I'm happy. I got all my spirits ready to go. That's the next region we gotta do. Alright. Debontha Hills. Tama Pond. Loop back around. Let's see what else we can find. I'm kind of sad I lost my, uh... My, uh... Brazil, or whatever. See so if we can find all the Tabanta Hills. Is that a goblin camp over there? Thank god, I need one. Tabanta Village Ruins? Uh oh. No, oh, you don't see me. You don't fucking see me.
this? What's this lady doing here? What's that lady with the horse doing here? It's like she came riding by and was like, oh shit, there's monsters here. It's like, what are you doing out here? See if we can loot this old abandoned village. Back in work, yo. What's up, Pichu? How's your work shift, man? Hope you had yourself a good one. Also, do you have any pets? Actually, do you? I don't have any pets at this house. My dad has a dog, but I don't own any pets. Personally, maybe someday when I have my own place, I'd like to get a couple of cats and maybe, maybe a dog. I don't own any pets though. How about yourself? You got any pets, soldier boy? Are those animals on the left of your screen? Those are the, the, the divine beasts. Those are the divine beast spirits that I acquired throughout the adventure from uh, saving different towns and cities that needed help from whatever giant monster was uh, terrorizing them. Three birds and two camels? Nah, no, um. There's an elephant, a bird, a lizard, and a camel. Um, I have three cats, two boys and one girl. That's what's up. I like cats. I think I'm a little more of a cat person than a dog person. But, um... If I had my own place, I would definitely uh, have a cat. I would have like two cats and like one one outside dog. I wouldn't have I wouldn't have my dog be an inside dog at all. It'll have a place to stay when it's um 
Yeah, the place is still when it's raining or snowing, but we would not be in all of my house and shit like that. That's one of the one things I get annoyed about on HGTV. I watch HGTV with my mom a lot, and um, we watch these couples you know, looking for a house and stuff, and they like wait. They put so much weight on their pets and stuff. Like, dude, your pet doesn't need a whole house, dude. Like. Just fucking like whatever. It's a dog, dude. Like, just give it a little outside space, and that's it. And be like, oh, oh, well, my dog that doesn't have a lot of space or whatever. It's like, dude, you're a human. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, who cares? But people, some people treat their pets like they're their babies. And like, oh, I get it, but at the same time, like, sheesh, it's so fucking annoying. I hate the type of people that do. So annoying. You know, we didn't cut the boys balls because they made babies outside when the girls bring babies to the house bro I see dumbasses be spending way more money on their pets than their life yeah no really I don't think I would neuter my pets either all right where did that lady go she was here then she dipped you don't want to help me fight some monsters and shit all right, um, I think we're gonna keep going down this way, up to this pond, and then we're gonna loop back around. I wish some NPCs knew how to fight so they can help you fight monsters sometimes. I swear to God, monsters, NPCs will see me get my ass kicked by monsters and run right past me and shit, like, okay. Could've helped me. <laughs> I don't think there's anything else in this village. It's all ruined and destroyed and dilapidated. Yeah, people definitely spend more money on their pets than themselves. I'm like, dude, I mean, if I had two cats, yeah, I'll, like, you know, take good care of them and make them love me and stuff, but, like, I'm not gonna freaking spend entire life savings and paychecks on a dog. I don't like dealing with other people's dogs. Like, if I had my own puppy, sure. But I hate dealing with other people's dogs. Torches and shit. <laughs> Yiga guy, really? any days off um she works Monday and Tuesday ice whiz robe do I want another blizzard rod?
Oh, so she's off today? No, no, no. Um, it's today Tuesday. Yeah. No, she works today. She's off tomorrow and the rest of the week. Some uh, items take more work to break crates and boxes than others. I don't have a bunch of super strong weapons right now. I mean, I do, but I'm not trying to use up these ones. So I got a bunch of really weak garbage weapons right now. Uh -um. All right, where am I? To about the hills. Looks like there's might be something up there. I found an exploit that gives you 300 rupees just by doing, just by like, for only paying 220 uh, rupees. So now, if I'm ever low on money, I know exactly where I need to go. I don't think I ever really be low on money, but I know exactly where to go when I'm basically done with the game. But um, I want to grind up to 9,999 rupees. I know exactly where to go for that now. Spent twenty rupees to get nine thousand uh, to get three hundred rupees. All right, I don't think there's anything here. Not the Korok seeds. So let's uh, let's keep going down this uh path over to here. We've already been doing check out Tama Pond, I guess. Infinite rupee glitch. I mean, basically, I don't know if there's like already an established glitch in this game that probably some speedrunner found somewhere. But I just found a mini game spot where you can pay 20 rupees to get 300 rupees if you get a strike on, at bowling. And it's not even hard to get if you stand in the right place and do it properly. You can definitely just cheese this old guy for 300 rupees. I don't, even, I don't know if it's really an exploit, but like, it's just. It's just oh. It's an extremely easy way to get a ton of cash for like no like very 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 little risk like all your risk all your risk is 20 rupees and if you don't get a strike if you get nine then you still get a hundred and if you get a spare you get 50 so that's still not that bad and the game does get updates so you should be good yeah I mean I, I don't think Nintendo intends on ever fixing that guy who's will give you 300 rupees for basically nothing. So... Hello? Oh. God damn it. Been down there before. I guess I could check. It's not a lot down there. Um, wait a minute. Yeah, I mean, this is the path I'm supposed to be on, so we can go down there. And we'll probably check out down there too. Let's see if there's anything around here.
sneaky rice veggie balls. Thanks. That much damage. Who shot an arrow and did that much damage to me? Travelers want to help me fight some monsters since you guys are just like walking around here. It's the fucking white one that has a strong air one. I don't need to wear my um clothes right now. It's not on the mountain, so I can get myself more defense, I guess. Ugh, out of my back.
Let's see what those guys got around here. So I've already been that way. And I've already been up there. So let's just got Tama Pond. This apparently I haven't been up there yet. out of the snow, but we're not done with it yet, though. So I went the wrong way. I've already been over here.
All right, let's see what's up here. Tama Pond. What is so special about this pond, though? This is a spot a pond that will heal me for swimming in it. I don't know what these low types are for. I don't know if there's a cross these spots or if they're supposed to heal me or not. I thought they were supposed to heal you if you swim in those. But they don't. Is water cold? Yes, it sure is. Let's see what's at the center of this pond, because it looks like there's something there. Right on, dude. Alright, what's at the top of this waterfall? Haven't been up there yet. This is also technically Hero Plunge. So let's uh, check that out. Good job, Link. That's all I need from you. 
Um. All right, so let's check out this area. Let's see, I've got some monsters. Alright, Sapphire. Not bad. Alright, um... Alright, so we are on... We're back, we're back close to this uh, shrine, so let's check out around this, this area. It's almost 11 now. Which means we have a solid... Probably hour left the stream. So hopefully we can check out the rest of this area, and then probably next time we play this game. I don't know when that will be. Whether it be... Maybe Wednesday, Thursday, or next time we play this game, which will be after next week. Then we'll check out the last, the last portion of this region.
me turn back around and check out Tama Pond from this elevation, and then we'll go back around here and get close to the tower and the lodge. And I know there's a shrine near the lodge still, so I want to check that out. If I can, let's do that. Whew. Oh.